guys, it's Sarah here with Grassroots Evolution, back for part two of your reading for Pisces for the end of 2018. So, um, if you're new to my channel, please hit like and subscribe. It's wonderful, you know, just to even know if any of these videos resonated for someone. Okay, so with that being said, what I want to say is before I get going again, I always ask Archangel Michael to guide and bless this reading as well as any of you who would ask. And just know that uh, at any time if you want their kind of support, all you have to do is ask and uh, put your faith in them. Okay, so also it's up to you and your active choices, right, and your active free will, how you implement this guidance um, moving forward. Okay. So, also my team of light, please join me. So Pisces, the last, the first half, and if you haven't checked it out, you should, was really saying get over your fears of even feeling self-worthy, okay? Because the bottom of the deck, and I'm using the Guardian Tarot by Beth Sillinen, if you like it, I really love her. Um, the trees really are the guardians, right? They're underneath us, they're above us. Um something to that okay so before I read the rest of this what I want to actually say as I was hearing is to get ready for this this portion of the reading I was guided to put on some onyx some black onyx and really um, ground my heart space and um, being that this is a time where the moon is in cancer if you're a woman maybe some time to throw in some pearls okay cancer June um, that sort of thing pearl is our our um, stone of the month, okay? So really get in touch with that emotional body, that crab shell, and this where beauty can come in compacted over time, you know, when we finally allow that hard little spot that needs to go to surface, it gives us beautiful pearls. So um, there's always wisdom there, okay? That's something I'm being guided to say. But there was something else with the pine, okay? So some of my my inquiries on what pine would be used for is a lot of times within Native American cultures, even within hunting, um, is it, it's used as camouflage. They would rub it on themselves to go into the woods, some sometimes like cedar as well. And the deer or whatever the hunters were, were looking to hunt wouldn't smell them coming. And when I was lighting this, I heard, and the wolves can't smell you either. So maybe there's a few different messages right now. First off, in our sense, in our animal instincts on what we may need, when I opened up this pine incense, it brought back a place like almost an Akashic record. Past life, smell recognition is important. Maybe if you're feeling a little trapped, pine would be a really nice incense to, to use. Go get in the woods, okay? But know that... Um, you are free, okay? The wolf paw. You can be a lone wolf and step in your, your path and be fearless, okay? Light some, get that mentality even of it doesn't matter. I walk through unnoticed because, um, you know, if you always watch the movies, the person who pays little to no attention to the surroundings in the bad guy movies, they get away because nobody saw them pine right being able to use it as also a protective shield maybe in ceremony okay to um kind of warding off any demons or any inner demons protecting ourselves from you know the wild beast if it can get out of control okay that is the message that i've got for you so for the first part of the message really get over your fears of honoring your inner strength and your inner truth and the bottom of the deck here there was the page of wands and the page of pentacles both kind of walking away from the past and things that didn't serve us in the heart space and potentially on passionate moving towards something passionate and something passionate also looking at something um very heart centered okay and the eight of pentacles with the four of wands 
okay? And this is really about learning the lessons and moving through the karma, even within this lesson. Um, the last video I did was really about completing cycles fully so that we're not bringing parts of that karma in to do it again, that we're free of that lifetime, we're free of that lesson, we've learned it, and we can start to integrate it into our day-to-day, -day, okay? So um, that is the message that I have for that. And I'm being guided for you guys, Pisces, to pull in the Romance Angels. And the reason being is because when I finally get to it, this is about love for ourselves, love for others. This could be also what we need to do is release any of the blocks to feeling worthy to accept the love that is coming to us or that is already here. And to really be allow yourself, allowing yourself to receive it. So this portion is also, I want to leave it on, um, the Romance Angels are about soulmate connections. And everyone who makes an impact or teaches us a lesson, they were predetermined by ourselves, our higher selves, where we chose to learn these lessons. And if we can, this is where if we move through this energy, good things come to us. And this is love. This be it love within ourselves and making us feel whole or love outside of us in partnership. Okay, divine kind of, divinely guided partnership, if you're watching this, probably to be bringing you into this. Okay, but like I'm saying, even if it's a divinely guided sort of partnership, that's with yourself. Because that is the most important partnership you're ever going to have, is getting your mind and your heart, those two spaces, fully grounded and in line, okay? So, please, Spirit, can you give me a message for anyone watching? I've got reconciliation. Fall in love with yourself again. If this is for a friendship, family member, you could be maybe needing to have a little heart-to-heart -heart discussions. This could also be a soulmate. You could have, and as I say that, two things for all of so it could be a soulmate, right? It could be a love interest. That if you can get past all those fears f of loving yourself and feeling worthy, the law of attraction, I feel worthy, worthiness comes. We vibrate it back, magnetize, okay? So if someone from your past is returning to your life. You want to make the best of that. Make the effort is the card that come out is great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So... And allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And this is passion. This is the Doreen Virtue Romance Angels deck. So just in case you're, you're curious. But what I'm being guided to say right now is that loyalty. Okay. This is about reconciliation. Making an effort and putting passion into something is always about putting work into it. This is within all of our relationships, passion and um, sharing interests, being being fully present with each other. These are really important things. And making the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Absolutely. Make sure they're of love and light. And if you have to sit with things for a moment, do that. Ask your higher self, ask your guides to to help you work through your inner demons. Okay, that's also making the effort so that whenever this love or this reconciliation does come in and this passion comes in, it's not a burn it to the ground kind of energy. It's a burn it in love kind of energy, baby. That kind of thing. Okay, so that is the message. And the bottom of the deck is this could be the one. You're already met the romantic partner you seek. So if this is love, absolutely. If there's someone in your mind when you think about it, this could be them too, okay? And trust. The situation for you is calling to have faith. And trust and faith is really, really hard for some of us. Um, the power of forgiveness is a really important tool. And as we forgive ourselves and see more empathy within the place around us and stop looking at the world from this lack mentality, realizing we are already whole, we are going to be able to have a whole lot more trust and faith in the universe, okay? You have to have faith for you to believe it, to come in and believe it. And in the darkest times when you, you don't know a way to see the light, do something good to bring joy into your life and have faith that when you wake up, go to bed, it's going to be brighter because you have that choice, okay? So I'm going to use the whispers of love, and there's two that have fallen out. Honesty is essential, okay? To be a loving person is important that we know 
that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Is it kind, considerate, is it necessary? Um, is it coming from a place of fear and doubt and judgment or is it coming from a place of open hearted love? You know, really being discerning here. Um, and even within ourselves, being honest when we see things in our own patterns on how can we remedy that and take our own power back, okay? And be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. If we hold it in and we keep it in, we bowl it in, and when we kind of shroud down and nobody loves me, but I have all this love kind of stuff, we aren't going to pull it in. We need to be like, you know what? I'm whole. I'm worthy. I'm loved. I am love, and I want to bring love and light to the world. When I do that, this outpouring of love will come, okay? So be willing to express that love. One more card. One guys, hold on a minute. Okay, sorry. I'm guys. I'm back, guys. Um, I pulled in the Archangel Gabriel uh, Tarot Oracle. Sorry, and the Archangel Raphael Healing Oracle from both Doreen Virtue. Okay, so before I go to them, though, the, there was four cards. Two flipped down and two were up. The two that were down were Love Makes a Difference. Um, love can help heal past hurts and provide sense of security, self worth, and importance and love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. When we truly spread love into the world and with those who we truly love and we make efforts, um, you know, to, to kind of work on relationship, love, that kind of love endures, okay? So be open to yourself and open to, to others, okay? Because when we do that, like attracts like, okay? So, to do that, I have pre-shuffled this because I don't want to take up too much of our time. Archangel Gabriel, what's one message you have for anyone watching uh, to close this out? Media and being uh, discerning on what you watch. Birth, okay? Birthing your own ideas and your own thoughts, right? Authenticity is one of them. And allow yourself to receive so any of your psychic or intuitive messages pisces because you guys are so so watery so intuitive allow them open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that god is sending to you right now okay and archangel raphael second opinion sunlight forgiveness heals meditation a positive. You guys, Pisces, are like the yin and the yang. There's two of you, right, going in different directions, and it is important, the water in between, because sometimes the water in between clouds are clarity, okay? Get outside. That's why the pine was so important. Go smell the trees, rub them.